Today I will be showing you how to export the R1, R2, R3, R4 and R5 files from the Tally software. The Tally version that I am using is the Tally Prime version. Please note that the audit software will only accept reports from the Tally Prime and not from any other version. In here, I have already selected the financial period of my audit that is 1st April 2020 to 31st March 2021. From here, we are next going to the gateway of tally column and the next thing is that we are going to click on chart of accounts. From here, I am going to click on ledgers. Now from this particular screen, I can export my three sets of reports that is R1 master file, R2 chart of accounts group view and R3 chart of accounts ledger view. Let's quickly jump and see how it's done. If you have not changed the financial period previously, you can change it from this particular button as well. The next thing that I'm going to go is for the ledger view. Now, please note, I am not going to click on the ledger view, but instead I'm going to click on the arrow. I repeat, instead we are going to click on the arrow and I will click on condensed. Now, this is my first file that is R1 master file. How I'm going to export is, I'm going to click on export, click on the current. Now there needs to be certain changes in these characteristics. So how we are going to do that is by going to the configure button. And here I'm going to change the things which are necessary. Again, please note audit software does not accept the XML data. It needs to change from XML to Excel spreadsheet. It will automatically now be saved as .xlsx. Now this is very important. Second change that I'm going to do is I'm going to specify the path where I want to save all my tally files data. I have already copied the file, uh, the path and it has been updated. Now the name of the file R1, I am just going to add R1 R1 underscore master dot Excel SX. Now this step is absolutely not mandatory. You can skip it. The reason I'm adding R1 is while uploading the files, it would be easier if we have the similar naming conventions to that of the audit software. There we go. And I'm going to click on send. And we will wait till our file is being generated. There we go. Now this is the master file. By master file, I mean now these are the major heads of my financial statements that is of balance sheet and profit and loss account absolute major heads this is my master file now let's quickly go for the r2 for r2 i have to again go back to the arrow and click on detailed we had earlier clicked condensed now we are going to click on detailed now this is my r2 which is my chart of accounts group view as you can see now we have subheads to our major heads. So very similarly, we are going to export this as well. I will click on current, go to configure, change the path, change the name of the file. R2 underscore chart of accounts in the bracket view dot xlsx. Since it's already in Excel spreadsheet, I need not change this and rest everything is fine. Now we are going to click on send again. There we go, we have our R2 file saved. And now we will finally click on the ledger view. And this is our detailed 
chart of accounts ledger view i will click on export current configure change the name of the path change the name of the file R3 chart of accounts ledger view dot excel x now please note that mentioning dot excel sx in this file is very important otherwise your file will get corrupted no more changes needed and we are ready to send it away now this is our detailed set of ledgers of our financial statements you can see the accounts in this column and this is our r3 report